Before starting the tutorial, look at this before and after result. Alright, hopefully you noticed that little stutter or choppiness in the before part. That kind of issue usually comes from two things, and nowadays with Windows 1125H2, a lot of players, especially NVIDIA users, are running into it. If that's happening on your end too, check the link in the description. I've already posted a full video with the exact fix that worked really well for me. But yeah, it's not always just that update. Sometimes other things also play a role, and that's why this video is purely focused on proper optimization. And it's not limited to Valorant. You can apply these tweaks on any game on Windows 11. Just make sure the game is from Steam, Epic, or Riot. Anything except Xbox apps, basically. As usual, before touching any tweak, make sure you create a restore point. Click the Windows icon and type Restore Point. When you see Create a Restore Point, open it. Now here, select the drive that has more free space. You'll see the protection status, either on or off. First, we need to enable protection for that drive. Otherwise, we can't make a restore point on it. Click Configure, then select Turn on System Protection. After that, choose the drive again and click Create. Type any name you want, then click Create. You can check your restore point along with its creation date just to be sure it was created successfully. Click System Restore. Click Next. And here you can see the date, description, and type. Whenever you want to restore your PC, just select your restore point, click Next, and begin the process. It's simple. OK, next thing is screen optimization. We're basically disabling full screen optimization to deal with issues like input lag, stuttering, and low GPU usage that some games or apps randomly run into. Go to your game's installation folder. In my case, it's on the C drive inside Riot Games. That's usually the default destination. So C drive, Riot Games, then Valorant, and Live folder. Here, right-click on valorant.exe and open Properties. Once the small window pops up, go to the Compatibility tab. Now listen carefully. Check only Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Do not check Run This Program as an Administrator, otherwise the game won't launch properly. There are some internal rules behind this, and it usually confuses people, so no need to go deep. Just check Disable Full Screen Optimizations, hit Apply, then OK. After that, Go into the Shooter Game folder because Valorant actually has two backend files. Valorant.exe is basically the launcher component that works with Riot Client and Vanguard, but Valorant-Win64-Shipping.exe is the real game executable. That's the file responsible for running the actual gameplay on 64-bit Windows. You'll find it here. Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64. Scroll down and you'll see the file. Once you find it, right click, open properties, and again, do the same thing. Check disable full screen optimizations, hit apply and okay. Next quick step is graphic settings. A lot of beginners ignore this part, but honestly, it helps. Click on the windows icon, type graphic settings and open it. Inside here, it's simple. You just need to add your game and set it to high performance. Since Riot Games has two files, add both, just like I did, the Valorant.exe and the other one. It's easy. Just add the game, and from the dropdown, choose your external GPU for performance. This way, your GPU properly detects the game executable and gives its full potential. Next thing is exploit protection. Now, the reason we tweak this is because antivirus stuff runs in the background and eats CPU, RAM, and disk which you obviously need for smooth gaming. 
Exploit protection monitors unusual program behavior, and sometimes it clashes with how a game executable works. That can cause stuttering, slow loading, or lower FPS. Click the Windows search icon, type exploit protection, and open it. In program settings, you'll see an option called add program to customize. You can directly type the game name like valorant.exe, but we'll go through the full path. Once you add the game, a window will pop up. Scroll down until you find Control Flow Guard, CFG. Check Override System Settings and toggle it off. By default, it stays on, so make sure it's off. Now another thing, Ultimate Power Plan. Windows does come with its own performance plans, but at some point, making your own Ultimate Plan becomes better, especially for users who run optimization scripts, because those scripts sometimes change Power Plan behavior. So this way, we add a fresh, clean ultimate plan that works properly. To add it, open PowerShell as administrator. Paste the command, I'll leave it in the description so you can copy it easily, and hit Enter. After that, click the Windows icon again and type Power Options. Open it, choose Ultimate Performance, and close it. That's it. This should fix most of the stuttering issues, but yeah, this is just halfway. There's still a lot more you can squeeze out of Windows, and I'll cover that in the next video where I'll share the FPS boost pack I personally use on Windows 11. Till then, take care, bye.